Hey everyone, today we are going to be doing a rundown of the 2018 Grammy Award show and all of its greatest snubs and biggest letdowns. Let's jump right in. First of all, My Girl Taylor Swift was nominated for two awards. The Grammy I'm particularly triggered about her not being able to take home is Best Country Song for the song she wrote for country band Little Big Town called Better Man, which exhibited her unbelievable songwriting skills and altogether was an absolutely beautiful song, which she lost to male country singer Chris Stapleton. Which brings me to my next point that women did not really win many awards in the 2018 Grammys and when Recording Academy president was asked about this, he said that women need to step up musically. This is almost a funny remark because let's take a look at some of the female albums released in 2017. First and foremost, we have Reputation by Taylor Swift. We also have Melodrama by Lord, which I think was the best album this year. We also had Kesha's Rainbow, which was absolutely beautiful, Lana Del Rey's Lust for Life, and so many other absolutely incredible female albums. Now, the reason the best albums are not taking home the biggest awards is because the Recording Academy is filled with, excuse my French, old people who aren't listening to these albums enough every day to really understand how they're fitting into today's society. Ed Sheeran won for Best Pop Vocal Song for Shape of You, and while I love Ed with all of my heart, most likely any of the other nominees in this category would have been more deserving, like Kesha's praying about her sexual assault experience instead of a song about a woman's body as catchy as it might have been. This isn't to say Ed's album Divide isn't great, but in this specific category, there was probably some more significantly relevant artful music. Now, the most snubbed album at the 2018 Grammys was unequivocally Lord's album Melodrama. This album was a masterpiece. It spoke to people, resonated with people, and was truly ahead of its time. The album's single, Greenlight, only began to show what the rest of the masterpiece of an album sounded like by a 21-year-old female musician and writer. The most shocking part of the Grammys was inarguably album of the year, which went to um, Bruno Mars for 24K Magic. 24K Magic was full of easy bops that would ensure Bruno Mars a couple number ones on iTunes, and if melodrama deserved to lose to anyone, it completely should have been damned by Kendrick Lamar. Okay guys, that's all for today, but let's hope that the 2019 Grammys are much less disappointing than the 2018 ones were. See you next time.